The opposition is one of the most important pawn in-game lessons because it happens very often. There are many positions like this one where there is only one move that you can make to win this game. So here you'd have to play king to e3 taking the opposition to win this game. Any other move will actually end up in a draw. Any other king move or even pawn move, one square or two squares, it's going to end up in the draw. The purpose of this video, however, is to talk about what is opposition and how you can gain the opposition. And later on, I'm going to make another video where we're going to take a look to see how to use the opposition to win positions that are won or to draw a position that is a draw. So let's talk about what is the opposition. For example, if you look at this position and you're wondering who has the opposition, well, you're not going to be able to answer that question until you're going to know whose move it is. So here, if it's white to move, black has the opposition. The reason why black is controlling the squares d4, e4, and f4. And white cannot step on those on any of those squares because it's an illegal move for the kings to be next to each other. So here, black is opposing white. He has the opposition. Imagine this being like a football game. Let's say white is trying to reach touchdown on the other side, and black's goal is to block him. So what happens is anytime that white is trying to like maybe uh, go around him, black is just going to come here and stop him. So black has the opposition. Uh, coming here, you know, same thing. He's, he's going to stop him. Um, you, there's also, this is a vertical opposition, and there's also horizontal opposition. Um, let's say, you know, they're sideways here. Uh, same thing if it's white to move, black has the opposition. Um, here, it, our goal, let's say, is to reach the H file. Um, well, black is opposing white, he can't do that. If he comes down, black is just going to block him. So this is what opposition is. Now. Let's talk about how do you know uh, if you have the opposition or what square to move on. Let's say your king is right here. What square should you move on to, to have the opposition? Well, the rule is uh, to have vertical opposition, you want to make sure that after you move, there's an odd number of squares between you and, and the opponent's king. So right now, if you count, there's one two, three, four, five, six squares between. So if we move to square uh, E2, that will leave us with one, two, three, four, five squares between us. That means that we will have the opposition. Anywhere where black moves, let's say black uh, goes to F7, then we could move the our king to F3. Now you could see again, there's an odd number of squares between us. Uh, one, two, three let's say black is trying to reach touchdown on this side well we're gonna be able to take the opposition on e4 you could see again an odd number of squares one square between it anywhere where black would go we will be able to block him off so this is the rule for gaining vertical opposition you will need to have an odd number of squares uh, same is uh, true for uh, if you have a horizontal opposition this is also called shouldering when you gain horizontal opposition so right here for example let's say black's goal is to reach the a file and again to block them off let's say we can move to c4 d4 which one will give us the opposition well it will be the square d4 because now we have an odd number of squares between us you can see one two three Anywhere where black goes, if it goes up, we will be able to take the opposition. Now, what happens if you are not vertically or horizontally? What happens, let's say black is right here and you want to gain the opposition? Well, we could also gain diagonal opposition. Diagonal opposition uh, has the same rules as vertical or horizontal opposition. In other words, we want to have an odd number of squares between us. So, for example, Right here, the, if white will move the king to c3, he will be able to gain the opposition. Right now, you can see there's one, two, three squares between, three squares diagonally between our king and his king. And anywhere he goes, let's say he's trying to go to f6, uh, we're going to be able to move to d4. Now you can see there's one square between our king and his king. Again, an odd number. Uh, if he's trying to come here, we're going to be able to block him off. 
and we, you could see now we've gained vertical opposition. So for diagonal opposition, you want to have also an odd number of squares. Now, what happens if you don't have uh, the opportunity to uh, get vertical opposition or diagonal opposition? Let's say your king is like here on f1 and his king is on d8. How can you uh, gain the opposition? Well, the rule is you want to step on a square that creates a rectangle and also the square that you move on has the same color as uh, the color where his king is at. So right now the, your opponent's king is on a dark square so you also want to move on a dark square. So the square would be f2. You could see it created this rectangle right here and you, you could see that it's on the same color that your opponent is on. Let's say he's moving uh, to d7. Well, right here we can move to f3. Again, you could see this rectangle. Now he's on a white square and we moved on a white square creating this rectangle. And if he moves to like e6, now you could see we could gain the vertical opposition on e4. So this is how you can take the opposition or uh, know if you could gain the opposition or not. In the next video, we will take a look at how to use the opposition to be able to win uh, or draw if it's a drawn position. Thank you and have a great day. If you liked my video, please subscribe and don't forget to check out my new website, MasterYourChess.com, where you can learn, practice, test, and master your chess knowledge.